But 10, tonight we've learned that the suspect in this week's horrific murder-suicide was an online astrology influencer, here's a look at her, who posted about the solar eclipse being the apocalypse. Fox 11 with Gina Silva, she's live with developing new information on this case tonight. Gina? Marla, this case has been so shocking from beginning to end, and now we're learning about a new disturbing layer to this tragedy. A lot of our foundations as a society are toxic. They're mm -hmm. ungrounded and they're mm -hmm. unrealistic. LAPD confirms Danielle Johnson, AKA Danielle Ayoka, seen here on the Scotty and Sylvia show, was an astrology influencer on social media who was concerned about the eclipse. Eclipses, there's more births, there's more deaths. Leading up to the eclipse on Monday, Danielle, who went by the handle Mystic X Lipstick, made several alarming posts like these. Wake up, wake up, the apocalypse is here. And the eclipse is the epitome of spiritual warfare. She also reposted alerts that signaled, this is the final warning, something big is coming. This type of story is, is, is probably one of the most tragic and horrifying stories that we'll ever hear about. Like the rest of us, clinical psychologist Dr. David Swanson, who never treated Danielle, is trying to make sense of this horrific tragedy. Just hours before the eclipse was to take place over California, Danielle stabbed her boyfriend to death in Woodland Hills, pushed her kids out of a moving car on the 405 freeway in the Westchester area, which resulted in the death of her eight-month-old baby and the injury of her nine-year-old daughter. Then Danielle died after crashing her Porsche into a tree in Redondo Beach. Perhaps she thought that this eclipse meant that it was the end of the world. The apocalypse was here, uh, especially because of some of the statements that she made. There were plenty of similar posts and videos on social media predicting all kinds of disasters and the end of the world. And when you're sitting on TikTok or you're on social media, and clearly she was an influencer, so you know she watched a lot of this stuff, uh, it's very easy to get sucked into the fear that these videos start to create. Could this have been postpartum depression? I don't think it would have been. Yeah, and see, that's why it's important to have this truth, man. All right. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Akwadash, double honors to the elder apostles as well as the elder bishops who labored to teach us this truth. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there pushing this word and truth, sincerity and indeed. I'm your brother, Chapatazar, from the Great Millstone, Chicago branch. Coming at you with another real quick, Lord, will edify a lesson. And yeah, this is just terrible. All right. <clears throat> now, this chick, she was an influencer. She had over 100,000 followers. But it just goes to show that just because you have mass appeal doesn't mean you know what the hell's going on. Doesn't mean you know what the hell you're talking about. And it doesn't mean that the Lord is with you. Okay. All that astrology shit. All right. It's all madness. Okay. And it, it's really... It opens up, it opens you up to be influenced, <laughs> all right, by, by demons, okay? All that shit is demonic, okay? Now, granted, there's a, 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 there's a left hand and a right hand to all knowledge, okay? All right? Everything we know about astrology and things like that, you know, it's all left hand knowledge right now. We don't have the full knowledge of, of the astrology, okay? Because, yeah, there is... They better believe there's another side of that. There's a true understanding of that. OK, we just don't have it right now. Everything is 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 it's not where it needs to be right now. OK, that's why you don't need to be getting involved with that shit. All right. Yeah. How about Shimi All right. He told us what we need to be involved in and astrology ain't it. OK, astrology ain't got the truth. Astrology doesn't have the prophecy. Astrology doesn't tell you. All right. To remain still and calm. Astrology doesn't comfort you that what when the day of hell and calamity comes, the Lord is going to guide you. Astrology doesn't tell you that. You understand? And just like the rest of these philosophies around the world that all uh, uh, preach madness and bullshit. OK, it's all delusions. All right. This is the book of. I don't need that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse four. I also, yeah, Con, it says, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. See that? Because when I called, none did answer. When I spake, they did not hear. 
but they did evil before my eyes and chose that in which I delighted not. Okay. And so the Lord, hey, he allowed this to happen. All right. Now, is it sad that uh, uh, the eighth month old had to suffer? Yeah. You know, but like the scripture say in the book of Job, whoever perished being innocent. All right. It's the judgment of the Lord. You see? So she ended up unaliving herself via vehicular uh, a crash. She stabs up her, her, her husband, pushes her two daughters out. I believe she had a nine-year-old that survived, but the eight-month-old perished. All right. And then she ended herself when her car hit a tree at 100 miles an hour. You see? So that just goes to show that that, that astrology it didn't keep her grounded, okay? And again, she was unaware of the signs, okay, that the Holy Bible tells us about, man, okay? I get him. She let that, 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 that eclipse bug her the hell out, <clears throat> all right? This is... um. This is the book of Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, man. Okay? So there's going to be turmoil. There's going to be uncertainty. But we know what? Through the, through the wisdom of the Holy Bible and the prophecies that the end ain't here yet. And even when, and even when is the end, man? All right? <laughs> you supposed to believe in the Lord, man. All right. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon 1 and 12. Seek not death in the error of your life. See that? Seek not death in the error of your life, man. And pull not upon yourselves destruction with the works of your hands. See that? So even when things is going wrong, man, you don't, the, the, the go-to move is not to end it. The go-to move is not to end, end your, your, your loved ones, man. All right? Because you think all hell is breaking loose. But hey, a lot of people are going to do it. A lot of people are going to bug out, man. Okay? And I do mean a lot. And the, hey, psh, we got to say it. The main ones that's going to bug out are these women. Okay? Especially the so-called black women. All right? especially the so-called black women in America. They're going to be the main ones bugging out, man. They're going to be the main ones committing murder, uh, uh, suicides, unaliving themselves, unaliving family members, completely going berserk because they will have no answers. All right? To remain calm in a state of chaos is a true superpower. Okay, that's where true power lies. And the men of the Lord, all right, the elect, they're going to have that calmness. They're going to have that poise. And because it's going to be uh, anchored by the faith of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, that we're going to be all right. All right. I'm going to get that and end it. See, she couldn't take it. And it wasn't, it was, shit didn't even hit the fan. The scriptures say if they do, man, let me get that real quick. Shit wasn't even going crazy. People were outside chilling with their eclipse glasses on. People was drinking, getting high. You know, it wasn't even going crazy. This is the book of Luke 23 and 31. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? So if she bugged out, Right now, when shit is still straight, just imagine what people are going to be doing when it's not good. Just imagine what people are going to be doing when all hell is breaking loose, man. You see? That's really something to think about, man. This chick lost it, man. She completely lost it. The demons got a hold of her, man. She got influenced. The influencer got influenced. See that? That's crazy. But the Lord told us what? Second Ezra chapter two. So, yeah, Second Ezra chapter two, verse twenty-seven. Be not weary, 
For when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. See that? So people are going to be weeping and being sorrowful, man. But we're going to be merry. We're going to be rejoicing. Okay? Lord's will, I'm part of that number. As well as those listening, man. Lord's will, we're going to make it. But these niggas ain't going to make it. They are slated for destruction. They are marked to be confounded, ashamed, and destroyed when all hell start to break loose. You see? Especially Keisha. Because like that first scripture I read, when I called, you refused. You did not answer. The Israelite camps are everywhere. This truth is everywhere. So nobody has any excuse, but what? She wanted to, uh, uh, she thought her, her power and her answers, her comfort was in the moon and the stars. Hmm. <laughs> See that? She worshiped the moon and the stars, <clears throat> you know, zodiacs, you know, that's where she found her answers, right? And what did that lead to? The influencer ended up getting influenced by entities that were way, way more powerful than her. You see, and these same entities, these same entities, these demons, they're going to be working on the two thirds and the rest of these heathens here in America and around the world. As chaos ensues, man. But those entities will have no power on the Lord's elect. Those entities will have they won't be able to do anything against the Lord's anointed. All right. The chosen are going to be shielded from those uh, outside demonic entities that influenced this influencer, man. All right. But I'm going to leave it at that. Getting ready for the line. Hope this was edifying. I'll praise glory and honor to Yahweh. Shalom.